Hi everybody, it's Tim here and welcome back to That Eurovision site. As you can see, I'm still here in Yerevan and I am joined by Sophie Lennon from Ireland. How are you Sophie? I'm, I'm good, thanks. How are you? I'm very much okay. Um, well, obviously we've just literally met, yeah. so I'm going to go start by asking you a quick icebreaker. Can you name me one little thing that like not many people know about you? Oh gosh, um, well... I mean, it's kind of ran random, but I have a rabbit named um, Buttons, and she is, I mean, he, oh my goodness, I don't even know the gender of my own <laughs> rabbit, uh, no, but he is so adorable, yeah. and he, I just love him so much. Okay, then, well, obviously, we know that you love singing. Um, yes. Outside of singing, um, what else do you, you like to do? Um, well, outside of singing, I would love to do um, arts and crafts, um, and yeah. try and play the piano, like, yeah. try. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I, I normally have to go down into the room because, yeah. No one wants to be there when you play? No, definitely <laughs> not. I, I also love helping my granddad on his farm because I live at the um, bottom. I live at the uh, heart of the... I live in the heart of the Moon Mountains. So, yeah. yeah, I would help my granddad with all the cattle and horses and all. And I would just, like, would help care for them, feed them and all. Yeah. Okay, then. Well, obviously, you're here because you're representing Ireland. Yeah. So, how does it feel to be finally getting that chance and um, I mean it's just such an amazing opportunity and I'm just I'm, I'm I've only been here three days and I'm just loving every single moment of it and mm -hmm. um, I just I'm really not looking forward to it, like being over but I'm so excited for Sunday and just I've made so many good friends like Nadia from Armenia she's like one of my bestest friends and so is Carlos yeah. and Guy and just everybody and um, but yeah I'm having a great time time's going too fast isn't yeah, it yeah yeah far too fast <laughs> it, li it literally feels like I got here yesterday yeah exactly so you're participating with the song Solis. Now, for the ones who are not versed with the Irish language, um, can you tell more a bit about it in your own words? Yes, yeah, so Solis means light, and so my, uh, my song, like the meaning of it is, no matter how dark or sad times get, you'll always be able to find the light inside of you, and it is always there. You always have to remember that it's just inside of you. It's like find the light at the end of the tunnel. It's always there. Sometimes it's just harder to find, but you just have to remember it. It's always there inside of you. Yeah. Okay, well obviously, um, in Junior Eurovision, you have to sing in Irish. In Eurovision, that doesn't necessarily have to be the case. Yeah. Um, would you like to see the Irish language back in the adult contest? Yes, I would absolutely love to see the Irish language back in the Eurovision contest. I think because it just, mm. it kind of, um, like, See, not many people like would know Irish or Gaelic, yeah. so it just like really brings out mm. our culture. Okay, then. So obviously, with that song, you also filmed music video, and I saw that when you were on TikTok, you actually filmed it on the coast. Yeah. So what was that experience like? Because obviously, you were wearing like that big dress by the yeah. lighthouse, and I was wondering, were you cold? Oh my goodness, it was freezing because we were right at the um, <coughs> sorry, and um, we were right at the coast of the Atlantic Ocean, and it was freezing, mm. and I. I was sorry. I was in a, a dress, like a really like, not thin, but like it wouldn't be thick either. And I was in that dress all day, and it was absolutely freezing. And my dad started complaining because he um, stepped in a puddle, and um, he was complaining that it was cold all day. And I was like, Daddy, you really need to uh, like toughen up. I am in this dress all day, and he, he's such a, he's like a crybaby sometimes, but still love him. <laughs> But it was fun in the end. Yeah, it was really fun in the end. And we shot it in Band Lighthouse in Donegal. And okay. it, it's such a beautiful destination. All right, then. So now that you're here in Yerevan, um, what are your hopes, you know, participating in the competition? Um, well, my hopes for participating in the competition are, just, are that just everything runs smoothly and, like, uh, just everybody, like, all the countries, all the delegations, everything just goes smoothly for everyone and that... Mm -hmm. We just all have a great time. That yeah. I sing, my, um, I just do my best. Hopefully, make Ireland proud, make lifelong friends, and just have yeah. fun. Because that's all what the junior vision is about—just having fun and doing your best. Yeah, and just enjoying it. Enjoying it. I live in the moment because yeah. it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Yeah. Speaking with it, um, you actually had your first rehearsal today, like a few hours ago. Yeah. So, what was the experience like stepping on stage for the first time on such a huge stage as well? And um, well, this is probably the biggest stage I've ever performed on. Mm. So it was just. It was um, just such a like amazing feeling because I just stepped out onto the stage and because it's like 
it's not like a regular stage it's like a big circular thing yeah. with all these leds i'm just like oh my goodness this is so mm-hmm. cool and just looking at all the seats like although there wasn't any audience it was just like oh my mm-hmm. goodness i loved every moment of it and the buzz and the adrenaline mm-hmm. even though there's no one there i just loved every moment yeah. of it okay then Especially so the hair makeup. <laughs> Okay then. Well, obviously, you know, speaking of performing in big stages, obviously you've you've done Junior Eurovision era twice, and yeah. you've also done Britain's Got Talent. Yeah. So, do you think doing those competitions are helping you right now in yeah. terms of like how to do things? Yes, definitely. Because at the start of my music career, I knew barely anything and now mm. I feel like I'm much more experienced and um, so like I'll just like go on the stage it'll be a breeze I'm just like I just did that yeah. <laughs> yeah okay then well moving away from participating a bit obviously we're here because of Eurovision yeah. um do you have any favorite Eurovision or junior Eurovision songs that you might want to recommend our viewers to listen to if uh, they don't already um well I love absolutely everybody's song this year but like person, I like my personally my favorite is Kami Kami uh, by Milena that mm-hmm. she did in 2021. But I I honestly don't really have a favorite song. I just love all the songs so so much. Like I I love Nara's dance, um, Carlos the Senorita, Guys, Diamonds and Sky. I love all the songs so much. Okay then well, okay then rounding things up. Um, obviously, um, Junior Eurovision you learn quite a lot as we talked about. Um, what is the one thing that you'll take with you? like going forward after taking part um i feel that it's just because it's such an amazing opportunity and a once in a lifetime opportunity i just feel like i'll just it'll be something that i'll have forever and that i can always say yes i was Ireland's representative for the junior vision and i just think it will really just like help me in all my musics and um, like if i uh, carry on with music which i probably will and um, hopefully um but yeah i just i just think it will just be amazing like you're like you're in that special club of people who are like can exclusively say i've done this i've done that yeah you've I've done, done that. that and that yeah and you know hopefully you know we're wishing you all the best Thank for you. sunday and you know keeping our fingers crossed but just the final thing um have you got a message to our viewers who are watching us and um, yeah and um, so hi everyone i hope you all love my song Silas, and i hope you all just really taking that meaning and i hope you all just love it so much i'm so excited for the live show on sunday and i hope you all tune in and but Ireland. <laughs> thank you so much sophie and wishing you the best of luck uh, thank you for having me it was thank really you. a pleasure bye, bye.